Continuing our talk with uh, Minister Cretney, uh, one of my delights that I'm talking to you about the promenade in Douglas because, well, it's been called the Beirut Highway. It's been, it's been called all sorts of things. I mean, it's the first impression so many people Absolutely. get when they come off that boat and, well... Yes, indeed. Um, it's, it's 80 years since uh, any works of any substantial nature were carried out in the promenade. The promenade is long since gone past its sell-by date. Works are clearly required to be done in terms of the driving experience that people have along there, and I apologise that it's taken so long. I'm determined to get make sure that that uh, comes to an end sooner rather than later. I obviously require final Treasury and Timwald approval. It will cost a lot of money. It will be extended over a number of years, but the first phase has planning approval, and I'm anxious that we get on with it. It went to public consultation, so you're covered. You've got the, what, 67% agreed or something yeah. like that with what you wanted to do? Yes, indeed. I mean, I think we sometimes over-consult, but in this instance, uh, I think the consultation has been worthwhile. People made it quite clear that they wanted there to be uh, this, at least the same amount of car parking, for example. They wanted to see improved pedestrian facilities. The, the parking is going to be on the town side now rather than this the seaside the diagonal parking i think that all those key things together with trying to make sure that the traffic lights etc are coordinated to make sure that when people are exiting the town that that can be a, a more uh, meaningful and and so uh, there's been two consultative processes, an early one in terms of the original ideas and, 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 and those being modified in, in light of the consultation. And I think we do have broad public support in this. But it's going to be piecemeal, isn't it? So you're going to do a bit at a time. Can you start moving the traffic parking from one side to the other in on little bits or do you have to wait till the whole thing's finished? It, it all depends what phase of the, of the, of the plan that we're talking about. The first play phase won't uh, require that. But when, when we get into subsequent phases, there will be more technical difficulties such as those. But they'll be faced and they'll be handled, no problem. And you know, the biggest part of this whole thing will be what about the horse trams? Yes, well, the plans are for a single uh, line tramway with passing places. The corporation uh, have been very supportive of that. Uh, we've worked together with the corporation, not only in that, but also in terms of the overall plans. This is the capital of the island. It's the gateway to the island. So it's important that we, the first impression that people, when they come, uh, is a much better one than presently exists. So where will the horse trams go? The, the horse trams will be on the seaside, uh, on, on the, just uh, on, uh, where the cars presently park. And again, that can't be done, can it, until no. everything's done? I, I, and it, again, that's a later phase. Um, but in, in terms of the principle of that, the corporation has signed up to that. I, and I think it's a, a, it's a good solution, actually, in terms of the horse trams. Will you be here? Will I be here when it's all finished? What's the time scale? Um, who knows? <laughs> we may get run over by a bus. Probably more likely that I'll be run over <laughs> a bus than you. Um, in, uh, in, the, in the time ahead, um, but I, I hope to see it through, obviously. I, hope to, I certainly hope to see, make sure that it's, it's well underway by the time I finish my time in here. <laughs>